Well, goodbye. AI systems can make music, generate art, mimic photography, and write. Some argue it could augment human ingenuity, enabling artists to explore novel avenues and collaborate with AI in innovative ways, but it could clearly impact cultural jobs. Others fear it risks the total loss of human creativity. And in bad news for TV writers, everything I just said was scripted by AI. But it's also been used in the entertainment industry to bring beloved singers and movie characters back to life. America's Got Talent, the show I used to work on, also got a taste of just what AI can do when Simon Cowell, Howie Mandel and Terry Crews took to the stage, or at least their AI replicas did. Well, I'm now joined by the comedian, the star of NBC's America's Got Talent, Howie Mandel, and legendary actor William Shatner. Welcome to both of you. So, Howie, um, I mean, I knew it was a fate the moment I heard you sing, because you can't sing. So, uh, but was it a weird okay. experience seeing that? And what do you think of AI? Where's your mind with all this? Amazing. I am so up on technology. I love it. I think we got to embrace it. I, I've, I've been listening to your show from the beginning. Uh, people uh, screaming fire in the building. I, I think, number one, nobody, and there is no uh, choice in stopping it. There's no way you're going to stop it. Embrace technology. I always have. I, I embrace AI. I embrace holograms. I've invested in a hologram company, which is actually in the O2 right there, Proto Hologram. Right. And that's because I can be in two places at once. I would love to, somebody to write for me. I would like to, I, I've actually licensed my AI image to a Korean company because I want to be able to be places and do things without being there. It makes me much more productive. It makes the world productive. You know, nobody stopped the automobile, even though all the blacksmiths seem to have lost their job. You know, we'll just find new things to do. How we would you feel? OK, but how would you feel? How would you feel artistically if, a, if an AI robot was able to write all your jokes for you and you literally had no input? Would you care? <laughs> You wouldn't no. care, would you? Because you're, you're, you you're a me, cultural as charlatan. Long, as long as you pay me. But the <laughs> truth is, what you're saying doesn't really exist. You know, we need the human ingenuity or creativity to prompt AI. We need to come up with the ideas of what we want AI to do. You're not going to stop this technology. We didn't stop the World Wide Web. And, you know, people are putting things out there. And we could generate, I don't know if you're on Instagram, but a lot of mm. people are a lot better looking than they actually are. <laughs> it enhances. Yes, there are naysayers that uh, that say bad things will happen, but bad things happen with cars. Bad things happen with all technology. Bad things happen just when people are left to their own. This is all good, people. I mean, to be honest, you know bad, what? If, bad uh, things I, used I'm to happen. I'm AI a golden buzzer. Yeah, I mean, bad things used to happen to me when I work with you quite regularly, normally because of you. Um, <laughs> let me go to William Shatner. I miss you, buddy. <laughs> let me go to William Shatner. William, you celebrated your 90th birthday recently by creating an AI-powered version of yourself that will live forever, which I was thrilled to hear about. But does that mean you're all over this too, the AI phenomenon? Are you embracing it with great glee or are you, yeah, are you worried? I, 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 too, have been listening to your program from the beginning. And what I'm missing and what I think is uh, possibly promising is morality. How do you teach a computer morality, which brings us back to human beings? How do you teach morality to human beings? Will it be possible to teach these artificial intelligence entities as they become more and more sophisticated morality? And so they cannot be able to do bad things to harm people. Uh, then you get into the question of authentication. Can you authenticate an image so that there's no question that it's an imitation or it's the real thing? You're, there are areas that are sophisticated that can help uh, take care of the things that we've heard on this program that are very real taking mm. will a uh, will a uh, uh, a, a uh, artificial intelligence become sentient will it feel endorphins and mm. and will it feel good when it does something good and feel bad 
when it does something bad, if it could be taught to do that. I mean, the thing Those is... Those are um, the areas. The thing is, William, important. I mean, you can teach... Look, you can teach a dog, you can teach a child, you can teach them to about morality, and they'll pick it up and learn it. The thing about AI, presumably, you ask about morality, if you feed enough information into AI about morality and what is moral and what is right and what is wrong, why wouldn't it be even better than any child assimilating that information? That, that's exactly what I'm saying. That's exactly what I'm saying. Built internally into every AI is a morality. But then how do you teach morality? Because morality differs from And how do you person stop it? How do you stop it conversely? Health. How do you stop it being immoral? How do you stop a nefarious actor getting hold of it? You and know, pumping? That's exactly how do you stop humanity it? from doing that? Say that again, Howie. Well, you, know, you, you can't stop. How do you stop humanity? With yeah, but that's why. So that's that why when you get all has. over excited about it and say how brilliant this all is, I am genuinely worried simply because history tells us that yes, every great new innovation is great, but in the hands of bad, bad actors, this is including the internet, for example, bad things can happen, and I'm and not sure how exactly you stop right. it. Welcome to the world, this, it appears. I, this I, I is. Just, I'll the, talk about my own. Harry, you, know, you, Harry, you go the first, first, and then I'll come back to you. Well, the, the, everybody thought it was a bad thing the first time I purchased an inflatable sex doll. But now my wife has so much more time to watch her TV show. <laughs> <laughs> OK, William, on the bad stuff, I mean, I totally agree with you. If you can turn AI moral, great. If it can be turned equally easily to be immoral, what do we do about that? Our artificial intelligence is merely an extension at the moment of humanity. And humanity carries with it uh, the great goodness of the web telescope and the uh, uh, horror of the Ukraine war. We carry that capacity within us. The, our machines that help us will have the same capacity. How do we regulate that? How do we authenticate that? Those are problems that need to be solved and are soluble but we can't ignore them. What is for you, Howie, the most exciting thing about AI? What are you most looking forward to being able to do with it? Productivity, to be in more than one place and do more than one thing, more than I as a human have the capacity to do. You know, and um, I I've invested in companies like Proto Hologram and AI companies to be to be bigger and more productive than I actually am. Yeah. And, you know, listen, what we have and the capacity that I have as a human being is finite, is short, is, is, is in a box, and now I can think outside that box. And I can be in multiple locations at once, and it may not even be me. And I'm okay with that as long as I get some credit for whatever was created. And, William, very quickly, for you, the most exciting idea about AI that you've had? I just read this morning AI is starting to invent a antibiotic that uh, is w will uh, take care of the superbugs. That's just the beginning of the steps that AI can help us with.